All right, this is Sound ID Voice AI from Sonarworks, and this is a plugin that allows you to change your voice into any other voice, right within your DAW, which is pretty cool. Now, obviously, you know, I'm using it right now. I don't really sound like this, or maybe I do. Perhaps this has been my real voice all along. Who knows? But hey, you know, maybe I can sound like this, or maybe I want to sound more like this, or I could sound. Like this, or I could just turn it off. Boom! Here we are, and now I'm back to you know my actual my actual voice. But it's not only you know turning voices into other voices. You can also come over to the creative tab here and turn either your voice or another instrument to sound like a different instrument. So you see, we have you know trombones, trumpet, saxophone, strings, etc., etc. All right. So let's go ahead and check this out. Let me show you how it works. Okay, let's play this track here. It's turned off for now. Because I thought it for a long time, this life is not mine. Okay, then the second verse goes on. Moment over. ever wasted, so close I can almost taste it. Or into the chorus there. Okay, let's, obviously it's a male vocal. Let's turn that into maybe a female vocal. So just put sound ID, voice AI, right on your track here in your DAW, or of course you can do it in your NLE or your video editor as well. Let's uh, preview some of these voices here. Just click. This is my voice. This is my voice. This is my voice. This is my voice. So maybe I want that. Maybe I want to turn this guy. I thought it for a long time. This is my voice. Into that voice. So let's do that. So what I need to do is press capture right here. Of course, choose the profile that you want, then choose capture and then simply play back. Because I thought it for a long time, this life is not mine. No moment ever wasted, so close I can almost taste it. All right. So that's all the voice. Whenever I stop, you can see over here, it says start processing. And in this case, it's gonna cost me 180 tokens. You can see your tokens, uh, the amount that you have left up there. So then I can just hit start processing. And this is one of those, if you remember, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know, back in 2023, I started to tell you guys about plugins that are going to be connected to the cloud. Well, this is one of those plugins that is connected to the cloud. So we captured something, it's then sending that audio to the cloud, it's gonna be processed in this uh, female's voice, and then we'll be able to play that back, okay? So for this first one, I'm just gonna do it in real time. For the <laughs> other ones that we do, I'll speed through it, but I wanna see, I want you to see how long uh, or how short it really takes to change a male vocal into a female vocal, at least, you know, at least in this case here. Okay, so the audio processing is complete. Now all I have to do is play back. Because I thought it for a long time. <laughs> that is insanely good. Now you might be asking why use Sound ID Voice AI instead of some of the you know AI platforms. There you you can go to some websites and upload stuff and download stuff. What sets this apart is it's a plugin. It's directly within your DAW, so you're not having to upload things, download things, you know, pull it into your DAW, export it out of your DAW, back and forth, back and forth. Do it directly within your DAW, or of course, as I said, your NLE, which is a video editor. Let's play this all the way through so you can really hear the quality of this. Because I thought it for a long time, this life is not mine. No more. What I really like about that is she has this kind of different accent and it keeps her accent, but she sings the lines with the same, uh, you know, the same style as the, as the guy did. So we can disable that AI voice right here. Of course, just bypass it there, whatever you want to do. Moment ever wasted, so close I can almost taste it. This voice, this vocal here is actually slightly doubled. Um, so let's turn this back on. No moment ever wasted. So close I can almost taste it. <laughs> so that's the long and short of it, folks. It's really just that easy uh, to use. But let's move on now. Let me show you some other things that you can do with this here. 
So as I mentioned, you can also turn, you know, other sounds into other sounds, or you could record a line and, uh, you know, uh, turn it into an instrument, for example. So that's what we're going to do right here. A boom, a bap, a boom, boom, bap, a boom, a bap, a boom, boom, bap. Hold your applause. I know that was amazing, but please. Okay, <laughs> let's, uh, let's turn that into something useful. And how about into an electronic drum kit, okay? I'll do this in real time for you guys. I've already, already done this previously, but we'll recapture it. Why not? So we'll hit capture, I'll play back. A boom, a bap, a boom, boom, bap, a boom, a bap, a boom, boom, bap. Very good, I can stop, now I can process. Now I'll just speed through this here. All right, and we are done, let's check it out. <laughs> that is just too good, man, that is just too good. Now you do have a couple other controls in here like your transpose. Generally, I'm just gonna keep that on auto and let the uh, AI do it for me, but if you want, you can always untick that and start transposing things, um, you know, however you want. Uh, maybe I want to turn that. Okay. Maybe we'll use something else. Let's go for uh, acoustic drums, maybe. Now, since we already have this captured, uh, I can just start processing. I don't have to recapture it. I can just start processing. And now it's going to process it with this acoustic drums here. All right. And that is done. Let's check it out here. All right. Not bad, right? I mean, when originally it was this. Boom, a bap, a boom, boom, bap, a boom, a bap. <laughs> right? And turn it into actual something that sounds like drums. Okay, let's move on to another example. All right, let's check out this vocal here. I'm the one you need. All right, let's start messing with it here with uh, sound ID voice AI. Maybe I want her to sound like a dude, maybe. This is my voice. No, something lower. This is my voice. No. This is my voice. That's not bad. Let's try that one there. This is my voice. Okay, we'll capture it. I'm the one you need. All right and process it. Okay, that is done. Check it out. I'm a walking knee. <laughs> that is just, it has that, you know, this is uh, described as a raspy, gritty chest voice, and it just does that perfectly. Now, I wanna show you something else you can do with this here. Let me just create a uh, another track here. Should probably make that stereo. Let's create another track. Very good. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this original voice and just drag it straight down, okay? Now I'm gonna solo this track right here where there's no audio on it, okay? But we still have the plugin on there, right? So when I play back, we're still gonna hear this AI voice even though the audio is not on the track anymore. Watch this. I'm a one you need. Okay, that's because whenever you capture something, it saves it basically in time code and plays it back at the exact uh, place that the audio originally was. Okay, so if you want the, if you want to remix this and move this around somewhere else or something, you're gonna have to uh, you know recapture, um, or you could bounce things out and move it around however you want. But here, what we can do now because we have that AI track plus we have the original track. I'm the one you need. Now we can basically create harmonies, right? So let me turn down this one here a bit and turn down this one here. Let's see what we got now. I'm the one you need. I'm the one you need. Right, let's go further. Let's do this again. Another one of these. And now let's find uh, a higher voice. This is my voice. This is my This is my voice. 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 All right, let's do that one there. We will do it on this track here. Just hit capture. I'm the one you need. 
cool process it all right so that is done let's uh let's hear that <laughs> very cool now again i'm going to take this track drag it down one more just so i can create a uh you know an actual new track there so now we have a harmony stack okay we have the original which is down here then we have the upper and the lower uh from the uh from the ai okay see what we got now very cool uh, obviously I would have to adjust these a bit. And then of course I could head in there to my mixer. I could start panning things around, maybe pan one over here, pan another over there. I'm the one you need. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? I'm the one you need. <laughs> That's just so stupid that you can do that <laughs> right in your DAW. Create those harmonies. No exporting out to uh, go online to some platform or whatever. Just do it all directly right within your DAW or, again, your NLE. So let's check out one more example here. This is a bass, like an upright bass. Cool. Let's turn that into a saxophone. Saxophone. <laughs> I love saying saxophone. I don't know why. Capture it. Let's go. Okay. Stop it and process it. Of course, I'll just speed through this. All right, we are done. Let's check out our saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, folks, that's actually a bass. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And we can do the same thing we did to create uh, those harmonies. We can create a new track. I really don't care what it's called. Just going to drag this down. And now we can have uh, our, our bass and our horn at the same time. Very cool. Of course, keep doing this over and over. Maybe I want to also add in um, you know, a trombone. Here's distorted guitar, slap bass, electric bass, jaw harp. <laughs> it might be kind of cool to add. Let's go with a uh, trombone just to take up sort of that lower area there. All right, so we got our trombone here. Awesome. Along with our saxophone. Pretty cool. And then same thing that we did previously. I'm just going to drag this down to another track. So now that I have that original bass, then we have the AI trombone and the AI saxophone all built up real quick here. Of course, probably need to do some panning in there and some EQ and whatnot, but that's pretty cool that you can build different stacks and layers of different instruments just quickly there uh, using AI. And again, right within your DAW because this is cloud connected. Awesome. So wherever, even, you know, if you want to turn something into, you know, from one sound to another sound to another instrument, you can do that in here or what it's probably mainly used for is uh, turning one voice into another voice, building up harmonies, you know, testing things out. You know, maybe you sing a line, maybe you're not a good singer, maybe you have, you know, a certain singer in mind, you know, and your voice doesn't fit that, no problem. You can you know, sing that line yourself and then just, you know. This is my voice. Reprocess it with AI directly in your DAW. So if you want to pick this up for yourself, of course, head right over here. And you can even get a free seven day trial. So uh, check it out, put it through its paces, see if it's for you. And we'll check out the pricing here. Yeah, I mean, this is sort of one of those things that it's like a subscription or like you pay as you go. Um, you know, pay only for what you use. Um, you know, buy however many pro uh, tokens that you need, use them up, then you can always, uh, always buy more. Um, this is sort of where we're going, you know, with everything, you know, like I said, 
back in 2023, you're going to have more and more plugins that are connected to the cloud that do processing in the cloud. Um, eventually, you're actually going to have your DAW connected to the cloud. It'll be able to do things like mix for you automatically. You can record all of your instruments. You're going to be able to hit one button. It'll send up some data. It'll analyze it real quick, and then it will literally mix your entire song in seconds. That's where we're going, folks. We're not quite there yet, but today we do have Sound ID Voice AI to change your voice to sound into any different type of voice that you want, or of course, use it for more creative purposes, taking, you know, beatboxing or whatever, and turn it into drums, take, um, you know, a bass, turn it into a trumpet. So that is it, folks. Sound ID, voice AI from Sonarworks. Go check it out right now because it is the future or 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 the future. All right. Sound, sound ID, voice AI. Go check it out, link in the description below. Cada misión es nuestra vida. Hermandad.